Tomorrow, more than 2,000 blocks of ice will be carried from Silver Lake to downtown Eagle River, but volunteer firefighters were already hard at work today. The department cut nine inches into the ice day with machines. They will cut the last three inches by hand tomorrow. And for those of you doing the math at home, that equals 12 inches of ice thickness. You may remember Chief Anderson was looking for 13 or 14 inches, but he's been assured that the ice will still be safe. We'll hear about the castle design later in the show. Staying in Eagle River, the Vintage Snowmobiling World Championships revved up today. Classic sleds from the 60s, 70s, and 80s will be on the track tonight through Sunday. Earlier today were some practice runs and time trials. Opening ceremonies will be at 6 p.m. tonight with racing to begin at 6.30. The Vintage Championship Final will be at 3 p.m. Sunday. Let's talk COVID for a moment since we've had a couple record-breaking days in a row. This graph shows the rolling seven-day average of COVID cases cases in Wisconsin since the pandemic began. And as you can see, cases are shooting up right now. The new Omicron variant surge is driving this. Health officials say it could be some time before Wisconsin sees case counts decline. Now let's look at another graph here. This shows hospitalizations and deaths in Wisconsin. They're perhaps not moving up as steeply. It appears that Omicron is less deadly than Delta, but when cases are booming like they are like Right now, that doesn't matter too much. For those of you snowmobiling on the trails, a Land O'Lakes restaurant is going the extra mile for riders. The Black Oak Inn on County Road B installed a custom-built drying wall. You'll see it on the other side in a second. It took 80 hours to make and 438 pieces of PVC pipe. Wow. The wall can dry helmets, hats, and gloves. And, of course, you can grab a hot meal while you're there as well.